Good morning, I'm Mikey Oreta with the latest this hour here on the Billionario News Channel. Malacanang suspends classes in all levels in Metro Manila and in regions 3 and 4A. Work in government offices is likewise suspended due to Super Typhoon Karina. The Super Typhoon and the enhanced Habagat caused severe flooding in Metro Manila, displacing thousands. The capital region was placed under a state of calamity Wednesday as dams overflowed and thousands of residents had to be rescued from their rooftops and brought to safer grounds. Large parts of Luzon, including Metro Manila and Calabarzon, will continue to experience rains today due to Super Typhoon Karina. But Weather Bureau Pagasa says that they expect the weather to improve over the next few days. Meantime, Karina, which has slightly weakened, is now in the vicinity of Taiwan. It has winds of up to 150 kilometers per hour and gusts up of up to 250 kph. Only Batanes remains under signal number one. Uh, possible po na habang humihina po ito ay hihina na din po yung paghila niya dito sa habagat. Kaya over the next few days, uh, possible po na hihina na din yung mga pag-ulan or mga areas na apektado ng mga pag-ulan dala ng epekto ng hanging habagat. Elsewhere, the water has receded at the Marikina River. Though the first alarm stays according to the Public Information Office as of 9 as of 5 a.m., the water level has gone down to 15.8 meters from 16.8 meters as of 2 a.m. Now we ha now have on the line Cebu Pacific spokesperson Carmina Romero to give us an update on the airline's flights after yesterday's cancellations. Good morning, Carmina. Good morning, Mikey. Carmina, can you give us an idea of the level of disruption caused by Typhoon Karina? Okay, right now we are actively managing the situation despite um, operational and manpower challenges. The super typhoon has affected many of our employees and airport staff and measures are being taken to provide necessary aid and assistance to them. Of course, um, our utmost priority is the safety of our passengers, crew and airport staff. Uh, right now, um, we're managing the queues and... Um, crowd at P3. Um, we're sending extra staff to, to man our service desk because we're providing assistance to passengers at the airport who need help to manage their booking, such as um, rebooking or conversion to travel fund or refund. So right now, um, it's been better compared to yesterday. Conservatively, we have enough crew to cover the flights that are scheduled to proceed today following the cancellations that we've done ahead. In terms of on-ground manpower, we are in control and committed to man the scheduled flights for today. Um, can you talk to us about the number of flights and passengers affected by Typhoon Karina? So since yesterday, we've canceled about 258 flights and more than 47,000 passengers were affected. Um, and we've provided um, assistance to these passengers ahead. We've sent um, messages and notifications to passengers that they have the option to rebook or to convert their flight into a travel fund and for refund for those with canceled flights. And then for peace of mind of those who are hesitant to proceed with their flight, we are giving them flexible options. Um, for free booking and um, travel fund, um, so they don't have to worry um, if they are trapped in their homes or they can't go to the airport. We've uh, provided um, these notifications ahead. As of 9 a.m. today, can you say that you're back to normal operations? Not yet, Mikey, but we're really actively managing the situation. Many company employees are volunteering to go to the airport to help manage the queues and the crowd, and we're doing the best that we can to assist our passengers. Okay, now, um, Carmina, this comes on the heels of the global, um, the global cyber disruption. Just because it's so recent, can you just give us a, a, a comparison? Um, how is this Typhoon Karina compared to the recent cyber disruption in terms of cancellations, infrastructure, um, you know, damage to infrastructure? Can you give us an idea of uh, a comparison between the two recent events? Well, damage to infrastructure, not so much. And then 
what happened last Friday that was an IT outage. And of course, at the heart of it is our IT teams who really help to put the systems up as soon as um, as they can. Now this one, this is force majeure and this is beyond our control. And you know, like the rest of um, people in Metro Manila, many of our staff are also affected. And we are also doing um, the best that we can to assist our employees who were also devastated by the calamity. Okay, of course it's not an apples to apples comparison, but I mean, going back to Typhoon Karina, what are the what were the biggest risks and what are your biggest challenges now? Okay, um, the challenge is that um, we're trying to have enough manpower to to man a flight, both. Um, in flight and on ground, like I said, um, manpower is also a challenge because many of our staff were also affected by um, the typhoon. But we're actively managing it. Um, we have enough crew and on ground staff to um, man the scheduled flight for today. Um, we're still monitoring the weather. We know that Karina has left the Philippine area of responsibility, but we're still monitoring the weather and we are hoping for less heavy rains um, until the weekend just so we can recover okay thank you carmina romero from cebu pacific for that update what's important is that everybody is safe thank you carmina thank you the trade department declares a price freeze in metro manila trade secretary fred pasqual explains that the price freeze which is now in effect will protect consumers from any unjust price increases during this time of crisis the Trade Department says the price control is currently being imposed on essential goods such as rice, corn, bread, fresh vegetables and meat, plus other essentials such as milk, coffee, oil, laundry soap and medicines classified as essential by the Health Department. The price freeze will remain in effect while Metro Manila is under a state of calamity. Penalties, fines and imprisonment will be imposed on those who violate this. Okay, and that was the latest this hour. Keep it here on the Billionaria News Channel, always on top.